This month on Snowy 2.0, key areas of progress are the assembly of our first tunnel boring machine, the commencement of works at the emergency cable ventilation tunnel portal, and ongoing works to finish our construction power substation. The Ravine substation has made some exciting progress with the removal of the old transmission tower and an installation of a brand new tower. The new tower is about 60 metres high. That's around the height of the Sydney Opera House. This tower is a termination type tower to allow for connection of the substation. It was difficult to build so close to the existing line and was set out over four weeks with several outages of transmission line two required. Civil construction of the substation is now largely complete with most of the works shifting to testing as we get ready to energise. Transporting the extremely large TBM parts into site has been a complex exercise, especially negotiating the dirt road into site. The largest and heaviest part of the TBM is the main drive, weighing in at 174 tonnes and 208 tonnes with the electric motors fitted. Another piece of the front shield has been lifted into place with a 750 tonne crane. The Future Generation team have also been assembling the tail skin and this part of the TBM is now ready for welding. Construction of the 28 metre high portal for the emergency cable and ventilation tunnel is underway. 300,000 cubic metres of material will need to be removed before the TBM can begin excavating this tunnel. It will be used for emergency access and to carry the power generated by Snowy 2.0 to the transmission powers and onto the grid. So far we've started the main earthworks and erosion and sediment controls, including a sediment basin which will collect dirty water from the site. Stay tuned for further updates from the Snowy 2.0 construction site.